Now imagine being able to master a new skill, change your mindset or achieve any significant goal in just six months. Now that sounds impossible, right? But what's at stake here is more than just new skills or knowledge. It's about fundamentally changing who you are. Now, if you're a business owner, CEO or founder, you know how crucial constant growth and adaptation are, you know, personal growth. Now, staying stagnant, staying where you are, stuck in one place is just not an option. And today I'm going to share a method that will not only help you achieve rapid personal growth, but also ensure that you're a completely different and better person in six months. So stick around till the end of the video because I'm going to reveal the secret to mastering anything fast. You see, we all have goals we want to achieve, whether it's scaling our business, improving our health or learning a new skill. But often the fear of failure and the overwhelming uncertainty of, you know, where to even start on this journey can, it can hold us back, right? So it's just so easy to feel stuck. Now, today's video is about breaking free from that cycle and showing you a clear path to making a rapid transformation. Sound good? Let's get into it. To truly master anything quickly, there are three crucial elements you need to focus on. The first is consistent practice. You see, practice isn't just about repetition. You need to be intentional with your efforts. Now, you've probably heard the idea of the 10,000 hours of practice. Now, Malcolm Gladwell, who popularized it in his book, Outliers, but it's not just about the hours, it's about the quality of those hours. Now, Malcolm Gladwell actually stole the idea from a 1993 scientific paper by Dr. Anders Ericsson. He was a Swedish psychologist who studied performance excellence. Now, he argued that talent alone was not sufficient to achieve expertise. Instead, prolonged, deliberate practice is required. And whilst the average practice time was indeed roughly 10,000 hours, this actually varied hugely amongst expert participants in the study. Some were able to achieve excellence in far fewer than the average 10,000 hours. As an example, I have played golf for more than 10,000 hours since I was about 10 years old, and I'm not a pro yet and if i'm totally honest i've wasted a lot of those hours without making much progress at all and i wish i'd seen this video when i was 15 and just starting to learn the stupid game because it would be a much quicker process now think about this if you're practicing a skill the wrong way all you're doing is reinforcing those bad habits and this can lead to frustration and burnout and probably stopping practicing many people give up trying to learn anything new because they don't see the progress and it's just too hard, but often it's because their practice isn't targeted or efficient. You see, for any skill, that is a specific process you need to go through to jump the queue of those 10,000 hours and shorten that process. So let's talk about strategic learning. It's not just about consuming information, watching hours and hours of YouTube videos, it's about applying it effectively. So if you don't apply what I tell you in this video, then you may as well just scroll and watch another one about learning something new and on and on, much like I have done and much like you have done time and time again. You see, we live in an age of information overload. There is so much content out there that it can be and is often paralyzing. So you might find yourself endlessly reading and watching videos, but not actually learning anything deeply. And I know for a fact I am guilty of this. Instead, Let's identify the key aspect of the skill that's essential to making rapid progress. So to keep with the golf analogy, the key to improvement in that sport is to become better at shots to the green from less than 75 yards. Now these should be the easiest shots for any amateur to be as good as a pro, right? They don't require strength or special equipment, but almost no amateurs practice these shots. And as a result, most golfers totally suck at these shots. All they want to do is hit the ball as far as possible, which doesn't get you better. Secondly, you have to focus on your weaknesses. This is uncomfortable and nobody likes doing it. If you force yourself to practice the weakest aspect of your job, for example, then people may be left with the assumption that you aren't great at what you do and you don't want that. So you'll avoid doing it and you won't improve at it. If you're a great business leader, but you're rubbish at public speaking, then you're likely to do anything to avoid speaking in front of a crowd and you'll still suck at public speaking even when it comes or becomes a core part of your role by then of course it's too late there's nowhere left to hide so the third part of this process is that you have to push yourself beyond your comfort zone now again nobody likes doing this which is why most of us don't and you won't improve unless you do this is also really hard to do on your own what you really need here is for someone else to do the pushing for you. 
And that's a big part of my role working with professional sportsmen and women as a sports psychologist. I need to push them out of their comfort zone and try and get them comfortable with being uncomfortable. So I just want to interrupt the video quickly to tell you about my email newsletter, which I've just launched. You can sign up in the link below. And if you do, I'll send you a free guide to the 10 best business videos here on YouTube, as well as my guide to the 10 best business books I've read over the last decade. It'd be great if you did, spread the word. Thanks very much. Right, let's get back to the video. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, is the need to transform your mindset. Now, maybe I'm biased because I'm a psychologist, but I believe this is where the magic happens. Your mindset can be your greatest ally or your biggest enemy. If you believe you can't change or improve, you're right. Self-doubt, fear of failure, and a fixed mindset are the biggest barriers to personal growth or indeed improvement at any aspect of your job or your life or your sport that you love. Instead, why don't you try adopting a growth mindset? Embrace challenges, learn from criticism, and you have to keep going despite setbacks. Celebrate those small wins along the way, because this doesn't just boost your confidence, it actually reinforces your identity as someone who can grow and improve and get better. In sports psychology, there's a theory called challenge versus threat, which helps us understand how people perceive and respond to stressful situations. Now, in simple terms, a challenge state is when you see a difficult situation as an opportunity to grow and succeed. You believe you have the resources, which is skills, knowledge and support network to handle that situation. And this positive mindset leads to better performance and lower stress. In contrast, the threat state is when you view the same situation as a potential loss or failure. You feel you don't have the resources to cope, leading to higher stress and poorer performance. So imagine your company is about to launch a new product. Here's how two different managers might perceive the situation. So manager A, he has a challenge mindset and he views it as a challenge. So he sees this potential product launch as an exciting opportunity for him and the company. He believes his team is well prepared. They have a solid marketing plan and they feel confident in their product's quality. Manager A is enthusiastic and communicates this positivity to his team, leading to high morale and probably strong performance. At the other end of the scale is manager B, who has a threat perception, and he views exactly the same product launch with anxiety. He worries about potential problems, he doubts his team's readiness, and he fears the market's reaction. Now, this negative outlook creates stress, which can hinder decision-making and demotivate the team, possibly resulting in a less successful launch. So encouraging a challenge mindset can boost confidence, improve performance, and reduce stress. So if you or your team are embarking on learning a new skill, by fostering a challenge state, you can navigate these stressful situations much more effectively and hopefully achieve better outcomes. And this process really works. Look, earlier in my career, like most people, I guess, I hated speaking in front of people. My hands would shake, my voice would tremble, I'd start sweating uncontrollably. Look, that is not good. But my job had begun to include a lot of presenting to large groups, whether I was trying to raise capital or report back to existing investors. So public speaking became a crucial skill for me. I needed my investors to believe in me as an investor. And even though investing and public speaking are two totally unrelated skills, I knew that my skill as a public speaker would reflect on my skill as an investor. So I committed to six months of deliberate practice. I forced myself to speak at every meeting. I watched and analyzed great public speakers. I noted what they did, what made them effective, their body language, their cadence, the pausing. I read books on communication. I practiced techniques in front of a mirror. I know, I know, it was totally corny and embarrassing, but I was the only one there. I was the only one watching, and nobody knows that I did that, apart from all of you now, I guess. And look, those first few months were tough. You know, I stumbled, I was still not getting any better, and I got pretty negative feedback, frankly, from my audience. And I continued to think this is not gonna work, but I pushed through, I kept going, and six months later, I was a completely different person. Not only had I become a relatively confident speaker, but my overall confidence and my ability to communicate in lots of different settings had totally changed, it skyrocketed. And this transformation opened up new opportunities for me both professionally and personally. It was a revelation. So, 
What about you? What skill or goal have you been putting off because it seems too daunting or too time consuming? Remember, with deliberate practice, strategic learning and the right mindset, you can achieve incredible growth in just six months. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to check out my video here on why we have to choose to do the difficult things in life. It'll give you a deeper insight into making the right choices for your career. Until next time, keep pushing your limits and striving for greatness. Thanks for watching.